Now we're going to take a look at how to defend the arm bar with the coffee grinder. This is a very common escape. I've seen it a lot in catch wrestling. I've seen it a lot in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And most commonly, I saw uh, Vinny Magalhaes do it against uh, Fabricio Verdum at the Abu Dhabi trials. Everyone was cringing, oh my God, he's going to break his arm, including myself. And there was one very small detail that I focus on that Vinny had also that saved his arm from getting broken. So let's take a look at that. All right. So Nelson's gotten into this arm bar position, you know, I'm gable gripping, maybe I'm grabbing my lapel. I've tried a couple other escape options and I'm left with the coffee grinder. Keep in mind that the coffee grinder should be your last option when somebody is trying to break your arm. So the first thing to keep in mind is we want to move on my terms. I never want Nelson to break my hands apart because if he breaks my hands apart, then he's going to break my arm. Every time that my hands should break apart, should be because he surprised me and overcame me. I didn't know it was coming. I want to open my arms on my terms. I want to know when it's coming, and I want him to scramble to try and defend. Okay, so knowing that, the first step is going to be to turn up on my side at the same time as I hitchhiker. A lot of people hitchhike right here over into this, this uh, hip over here just the way that they're supposed to, but they don't ever elevate their shoulder, and this is something that Vinny understood very well. When Vinny started to do it, instead of just turning this way, you can see he elevates his shoulder. If Nelson wants to break my arm, he's got to take my elbow out of alignment with my wrist and my shoulder. By elevating my shoulder, it makes him have to raise his hips even higher. This is the important piece that Vinny understood, okay? If I keep my shoulder down, that fulcrum is much lower, he's going to break my arm even if I turn my thumb. So, again, I'm here, when I start to hitchhike, I'm going to come up on my shoulder and I need to raise my inside shoulder. Now from here, just like those old time cartoons, while keeping this thumb pointed at his hip, I'm going to run my feet like the old time cartoons until I get my head all the way underneath. Don't try to bring your head up on this side. It needs to tuck underneath the far side. So I go one, two, all the way under, and now I get to come out in a dominant position. From here, I'm gonna keep turning my head, and I'm gonna come out on top. Oh man, Nelson's in. He, I've tried a couple other escapes. It's not working out for me. So I'm gonna hitchhike at the same time as I turn up on my shoulder. So hitchhike, boom, I elevate that shoulder. I'm going to get that cartoon run, Wiley Coyote, around the back, and I'm going to keep turning my head so that I end in that side control position. Nelson's in that arm bar position. Uh-oh. Thumb, thumb towards the hip. I'm going to hitchhiker at the same time as I turn up on my shoulder. Boom. I come up. Not only am I trying to turn away, I'm trying to drag my outside shoulder underneath. It's, a, a, an, again, another range of motion a lot of people don't use. If I just try to pull him, I'm not going to be able to overcome his whole chest and bring him up with me. So don't be afraid to scoop your shoulder back towards his butt. Again, thumb towards the hip. From here, Wiley e. Coyote, my head grows underneath, and I come out the back right here. Staying nice and tight, crushing down on the back of those legs. Thumb to the armpit, or excuse me, thumb to the hip, hitchhike. At the same time as I elevate my shoulders, boom, up, walk, underneath. Head nice and tight to that butt cheek and turn in. Again, this is a great escape, very common, it can work, but it should be your last escape. After you've tried all your other escapes, this one is still there. If you screw this up, be prepared to yell tap and verbally tap because you may get your arm popped.